good morning YouTube happy vlogmas day 18 I am all ready to go not really I'm in my workout clothes whatever but I have a bunch of errands that I need to run today and one of the things I really need to do is I need to go get my company car inspected because my state registration is up in February or my inspection whatever it's called is up in February and with the holidays and everything and the fact that it is a company car <laughs> I have to do everything like a month early so I'm gonna get that done. Perfect timing though, because I have hit the mileage on my car where I need to get it checked out and the oil changed and tires rotated and all that good stuff. So that was my first stop. It is like 8.15 in the morning, so it's really early. So I'm gonna drive over there and do that. And then I think I have a couple of other errands to run. So I'm just gonna take you along with me. <laughs> done with my state inspection and oil change it took a little longer than usual normally they have me out of there in like 30 minutes but it took like over an hour this time and I was literally the first customer there so I don't know why it took so long but anyways I am heading over to Best Buy because I think it's time for me to get a new camera and I'm going to explain why in just a minute but first things first since I was in there for an hour I didn't have breakfast and I'm right by the best buy I'm going to is right by a chick-fil-a and it is 10 o'clock so I'm pretty sure they serve breakfast until 10 30 and if that's the case then I'm going to get some little chicken minis because I have a gift card that my mom sent me so chick-fil-a breakfast thank you for choosing chick-fil-a how may I serve you hi there can I get a number two the four count meal oh um, can I have a Powerade, please? Yes, ma'am. What else can I have, please? That's it. Great, let me have a six at the window. Thank you. Thank you. So excited. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Hi, Hi there. Honey. Spice 68. You had a four count mini meal, correct? Yes, I did. Thank you. And it's still $4.32 on your card. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Best Buy just across the pond. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay, so as you can see, I just made it to Best Buy. Before I eat these chicken minis though, I'm just going to explain real fast why I'm getting a new camera. So all of my vlogging is done on my phone and I have an iPhone 6 Plus. The camera is great, obviously when there is natural lighting and a lot of lighting, but since my house doesn't have a lot of natural light or windows, when I vlog indoors, I feel like the quality just isn't very good and it's very grainy. With that being said, I wanted to get a new camera. I've had one on my mind for about three weeks now and I've just kind of been going back and forth and today I decided that I really want it and since Christmas is right around the corner, I'm going to treat myself. So I use my phone to vlog, but for all the videos where you see me in my office where I'm giving writing advice videos, I think I told you in my frequently asked questions video for Vlogmas that I use a DSLR camera which is a digital single lens reflex camera. And basically it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's just really chunky and heavy. And the one thing that's really hard to do when you're vlogging is to focus the camera because you have to manually focus it. So it doesn't automatically focus and that makes it really hard when I have the camera turned towards me and it's really clunky and I can't hold it like how I can hold my phone. So I'm still gonna use that one for my writing advice videos because it's amazing and with the lighting setup I have in my office, it'll work out great still. So I'm still gonna use that camera. But for vlogging, which I seem to be doing more of, I want to get a digital point and shoot camera, which is one that will automatically focus itself. And the one I've had my eye on is the Canon G7X Mark II camera. That's like the longest name ever for a camera, but it's gotten great reviews. I've seen a bunch of other vloggers and YouTubers use it. So that's the one that I'm gonna get. All right, so that's unfortunate. That was like the quickest trip into Best Buy in my whole life. Apparently it's only an online deal. Oop. Get back in my car real fast. It's only an online deal, so he checked this store as well as the like three Best Buys that are right around here and none of them have it. So I don't know if maybe because, I don't know, it's sold out on Black Friday or something or they just don't carry it in store, which is so weird because it 
is such a good camera and has great reviews so you think that they would have it in stock but I might just pop into Target because it's right next door just to see if they have it because I really wanted to get it today I might be able to get it with Amazon Prime shipping so it'd be two-day shipping but I just ugh, instant gratification I just want it right now so we'll see the gas station now because I realized I was almost on E. It's just one of those days. But I did go onto Amazon to see if they had the camera that I want and it must be a sign that I should have gone on Amazon in the first place to really look for it because I found the camera plus two memory cards plus a stand plus a carrying case all for under $680 and normally the camera itself is $680 actually it's originally $700 but there was a $20 discount for $680 but the fact that I'm getting the camera the memory card the little tripod thing the case all of that for $680 is such a good deal and I am an Amazon Prime member so that's free two-day shipping However, I look to see because of course I'm instant gratification and if I could get it today I would but I can get it tomorrow for only $7.99 in shipping. So I chose that option. I'm gonna pay an extra $8 so that it will get here tomorrow. And I'm really excited to use it. I wish it would be here today, but tomorrow is good enough. It's good enough for me. Did you think I wasn't gonna play some Final Fantasy? If you guys watched my previous vlog, I think it was Vlogmas Day 14, you will know that my obsession with Final Fantasy is real. It's so much fun. And I used to be a really big video gamer. And then also when I was a lot younger, I used to play Super Nintendo and I ruled at Donkey Kong and Super Mario All-Star. So I've always loved video games. And then as they've gotten more advanced and more technological or whatever you want to call it, I feel like I just kind of dropped off the map a little bit and I was like, oh, I don't really like any of these games. So then I became a computer gamer and I was like real big into Sims and like the Harry Potter computer games and stuff like that. And now, now I've discovered Final Fantasy on PS4. Man, it's a good one. If you guys are also gamers, let me know down in the comments below because I just want to know what games you guys like to play and I don't know what system you use. If you use a PS4, or Xbox or whatever, I'm very curious. So drop me a line down below. So before it gets too late into the day, I really wanted to get a walk slash run slash workout in because the weather is actually beautiful. It was kind of raining earlier as you guys saw in the car and it's still kind of cloudy, but it's brighter and it's not raining. So I just want to enjoy this weather and go for a nice brisk walk, maybe run a little bit, just enjoy being outside since, you know, five days out of the week, I'm cooped up in an office the whole time. So, and it's been raining a lot here. And it's been real gloomy. So this is the first day where I feel like I can be outside. It's cold out and it's not raining. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh my gosh, so I see this UPS truck and this guy delivering something and all I want is for my camera to be here. Oh, rough life. So I should have done this before I went on my run, but I totally forgot and I just decided to go for a walk and, well, it was like a walk slash run. I'm like really overheated right now. So before I go upstairs and get a quick weightlifting session in, I am gonna have some of my BCAAs because I plan on getting a really good burn and a really good workout going. And so, since I plan on doing that, I know I'm gonna be sore. And this prevents soreness. It's glutamine and L-carnitine, and it tastes delicious. This is the One Up Nutrition brand, and I love it. I've been using it for about eight months now. Obsessed with it, I'm starting to run out, so I'm gonna have to buy more, but I'm gonna drink this, and hopefully it's just gonna help with my muscle soreness and the fatigue and I've also noticed my hair and my skin just look so much shinier and healthier when I drink this every day so I'm going to try to get back into it I've been slacking a little so yeah that's what I'm going to have right now
Barbie. I didn't know I had kisses. Mama had kisses. Baby in summer. Oh, yeah. She good for best kisses. Best kisses ever. Best kisses ever. Thank you. <laughs> They're so well behaved. Oh, it feels so good outside. I am wearing my onesie, in case you were curious, and it's very obvious I have not washed my hair. It's probably not gonna happen today, if I'm being honest. But since this video is going up on a Sunday, and you know I do have certain topics that I talk about for Vlogmas, the one I wanted to talk about today was the importance of me time during the holidays. But I'm gonna sit down. So basically, it can be really easy to get wrapped up in a lot of stuff during the holidays, and to focus so much on giving, of yourself and focusing on other people you know you're shopping for presents for them you're attending all these parties and you know it's all fun and it's great but at the same time you also have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you are still putting yourself first and your happiness first I mentioned that I did have to decline one of the holiday parties that I was invited to because I had three to go to in a row and just adding a fourth one in there was you no know, suicidal and it was something that I just didn't want to do and I didn't think I should have to do it <laughs> so I didn't just make sure this holiday season that you're taking care of yourself you're making sure that you're happy and I know we just talked about decluttering but when you're going out and about and you're shopping for presents you know it's okay to reward yourself with a little something if it's something you want and it's not gonna break the bank just to kind of reward yourself for being so giving, if you will. I know that might sound silly, but sometimes you do so much for other people during the holiday season and it's okay to want to buy a little something for yourself or treat yourself. That's totally normal and I think that you should do it. Along the same lines, just making sure you're taking care of your body. There's a lot of sweet treats and you know eggnog and these foods that are just very high in fat and carbs and calories. And I think it's okay to indulge every once in a while, but again, it's all about balance and just making sure like you can have a piece of pie, just don't eat four slices or the whole pie, but you can have a piece of pie. Don't feel guilty about it. It's the holidays and it's something that you want. Balance and moderation are key around the holidays. I know that can be really difficult for some people. Same goes for alcohol consumption. With the three holiday parties in a row, I only drank one of the nights because I knew if I drank all three nights that I was gonna feel like crap the next day and I wasn't going to be in a good mood and I was just gonna be tired and sluggish and I wouldn't even wanna go to the next party. So there was only one night where I actually really drank and I was fine with that. And I was fine being sober for those other parties because I knew that when I woke up, I was going to feel good and I would feel energized and healthy and not hungover and I would be able to go to the next party and be in a good mood. And along with your health, just making sure that you're working out or getting a run in or a brisk walk or taking your dog for a walk or maybe just getting a quick 20 minute weightlifting session in, just something to kind of get yourself moving and get your blood pumping. It's really important around the holidays. I know in some areas it's really cold and it's snowing, so the thought of going outside in such freezing cold weather is probably not very appealing. I feel blessed because here in Texas, as much as I love the snow, it doesn't snow here. And I'm sitting outside, it's maybe 55 degrees, I'm in my onesie, and I'm really comfortable, but I'm able to go for runs and do things outside still, even in December, because of the weather. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I live here and continue to get my workouts in during the holiday season. Really what I'm trying to say is just to make sure you make time for you, make sure you have that me time, and really just take care of yourself and know that you can treat yourself a little bit over the holidays. It's all about balance, it's all about moderation. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas Day 18, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Once a jerk, once a jerk, once a jerk, once a jerk.